Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Budget Life Mom Life and today I have a Hobby Lobby and a Ikea haul for you. So some of the stuff I've already started using so it's not necessarily great but I thought I would put them together so I didn't have to do two separate hauls. So when I originally went to Ikea I went to return some stuff that I had bought previously and um, I found this stuff instead. I pretty believe everything in this basket was 40% off. <clears throat> except for maybe one item and I spent about $50 when I went there. So the first thing I got was this bin to put in my bathroom. Everything is all falling, but it was just to hold all of our different deodorants, hairsprays, and stuff. Um, we have a big black, like five shelf, black wire shelf in there. And, um, sorry, my dog's next to me. And, um, so I just needed to be able to organize it more. So we have all of the deodorants and stuff that are needed in there. The next thing I got was one of these bins. I needed it to hold my daughter's hair brushes, uh, hair straightener, hair ties, all of that fun stuff. Um, so I bought that to go with it. <clears throat> and I think these are each just a couple of dollars. The next thing I bought were three of these bins to go on three of the shelves. One of them's gonna hold like our vacuum parts, mop parts, and then um, any miscellaneous stuff. One will hold toilet paper um to keep in that bathroom and one will just be i guess for miscellaneous things i'm not exactly sure yet um but there's five shelves like i said so three for this fish three of these will go on the shelves these two go on one shelf and then the top shelf is like decor <coughs> um so let's go ahead next sorry excuse my tower of christmas stuff i know it is mid-february and i still do have my christmas stuff sitting in my kitchen it's coming out the next day or two because I'm going to be putting a big black shelf here for some extra storage for my pantry. Okay, so let's get on to what we bought at Hobby Lobby. So these little bunnies are $8.99, so I believe they're like $5.30 after the discount. And I got these to hang underneath my TV. Um, I like to hang garlands, so I got this, but I also got this one to hang with it because I figure since this is just some cute little garland, um, I could hang the bunnies on top of it and it would make a cute garland. Oh, thank you. I'm on the floor. Sorry, so my dog's very interesting. <laughs> the next garland I got is the St. Patrick's Day garland. Um, both of these garlands were $8.99, so they were $5.30 after on sale. Same with this one. This one's probably about $5 for this one because it's only $8.49. And I got this to hang under for St. Patrick's Day. Another thing I got for St. Patrick's Day was this little sign that says, hey, Happy St. Patrick's Day, just to go on my little tier tray. And it was $3.49, 40% off. And the last thing I got for St. Patrick's Day was this little rolling pin. It was, I think, $2.99. $3.99, sorry, 40% off. And the rest of the stuff in here is for Easter. I found these really cute chocolate bunnies. They are $2.99, 40% off. And they're like little, little Easter eggs that you can fill up with um, candy or money. So I thought those would be really cute for a Easter egg hunt this year. I also found this cute little like porcelain or ceramic chocolate bunny. They had the ones standing up and the ones laying down. Um, I just picked one of these standing up ones because I have a couple of the like little grass um, looking bunnies, but I thought I would add one of these to it. My collection, this was $5.99 with 40% off. <coughs> I got this to go on my tier tray to put little candies in. It's just a little ceramic bunny. It was $8.49, so about $5. The top does come off. It's just currently taped to it, um, so you can put little candies inside. I found this little sign it says bunny kisses and Easter wishes to go on my tear tray. It was $2.99, 40% off. And the last two things I found, ignore that piece of trash, sorry, <laughs> um, were these cute little Easter signs. Um, uh, one's going to go on my tear tray, one's just going to go up by my uh, stove. And I thought they were so cute. And they're $5.49 each, 40% off. There's one more. Um, I don't remember what it said, but so there's three different types. So those are every, that was everything I got at Hobby Lobby, and it was about $50. So 
So the next place I went was a different day, but I went to Ikea. <clears throat> Sorry, let me just press this all the way really quick. And I spent about $100 there. So let's see what I got. Let me move all this stuff away from me. <clears throat> so the first thing I got was this little collapsible bowl. I found this in a cleaning section. I think it was like $2.99. I just wanted it for um, a sick bowl to keep upstairs um, where my kids are sleeping. So that way, if they ever need a sick bowl, it just pops open. And because right now they take like my mixing bowls and I don't like that. So <laughs> I found this one. So it's super, super cheap because the mixing bowls were like $8. Um, and it's nice and it's collapsible because it takes up less space. So I can just put it in our pantry upstairs or um, even keep it in bedrooms or keep it in the car if you need it. So um, a great little find. The next thing I found, I believe, oh, sorry, I believe these were $2.99, not sure, but they're just little squeeze bottles. Uh, I recently made some sugar cookies that I flooded for my sister's baby shower and my daughter's birthday is coming up. So I wanted to go ahead and buy some of those so that I can go ahead and flood some cookies with that. The next thing I bought were these little, um, they are, what are they? They're like organizing baskets, but they're plastic. They're 49 cents. I bought two of these ones currently in the dishwasher, but I wanted to use them as like little dredging plates. So if I'm making breaded chicken or my husband used it to make French toast, anything like that, that we just had a nice shallow tray to hold like eggs or um, breadcrumbs or anything like that to make those. And so I got those. I found this for I think 75 cents. It is just a three pack of um, dip cups or sprinkle cups or little treat cups to put like little candies in your kids' lunch boxes. So I went ahead and got that. <clears throat> this next thing I got is just little um, bag fasteners for when, you're, uh, when you get chips or you know bread or anything like that, you wanna fasten it. These are $1.99 and they're like blue and brown. <clears throat> this next thing I got is for lunch boxes. Um, let's see if I can open it with my hand, sorry. And it's just little plastic separators that go inside the lunch boxes to use. So we have this one, which has a lid and you can take it off. I don't know if I can do it one hand. Oh, okay. You take it off and you could store stuff in there. And then we have this one, which is a little deeper. So it can go in like a thinner lunchbox like this, a shallower one, and have three different compartments if you want it. So I just got that to go in our lunch box making area. <clears throat> the original reason I went is because last time I wanted to get this deep glass um, container, Tupperware container, and they did not have lids. So I ended up getting two of them. I believe they were like $5.99 each and then the lids were $3. So $8.99 for the whole thing. I got two of these just for leftovers or if you have like rice or pasta. I usually put those in like plastic bags or like Ziploc bags. So I just decided I don't want to do that anymore. So I'd rather just have some deeper containers to put in them. And I believe they can even go in the oven too. So if you want to cook in them, you can. And then I got two of these. They are smaller. I believe these are $5.99 with the $2 lid. So $7.99. <clears throat> and I thought these would be good for carrot sticks. So if we buy, um, I like the whole carrots um, and then cut them up into carrot sticks and you add water. So then they're all standing up um, and have that. But also for like rice or um, noodles or anything else that we have leftover rice. So I did get two of those. <clears throat> The next thing I got were these shelves for my son's room. He is currently collecting Funko Pops. And uh, these are not exactly for Funko Pops, but they're white shelves and they will fit on there. So I got two of those. They were $9.99 each. I just need my husband to go ahead and hang those in his room so he can display them. Right now they're sitting on the floor, so it'd be great to have them displayed. <clears throat> Sorry, um... As I said in my last video, if you watch that, I got the flu a couple weeks ago and it took my voice and I'm still struggling with getting my voice back. It comes back, but then if I talk too much, it goes away and it gives me like frog voice. 
So I apologize for that. The next thing I got is this cake container. I mostly got it because it can fit cupcakes like all the way around the outside in the middle. I'm not sure exactly how many cupcakes it can hold, but looks like maybe about probably about 24. Um, just because I usually bring cakes or cupcakes to a lot of my family gatherings or to birthday parties or something. So I didn't have one of these. I had one a long time ago when I lived in my house in Michigan, but when we moved to Southern California, we moved houses, we downsized. So I did not bring this with me. I believe that was about $14.99. And the last thing I got were these little trays. I think I found them in the cooking section. I'm not exactly sure what you use them for, but what my kids are going to use them for. Maybe if you want to carry like a lunch tray, it looks like maybe you put all your stuff on it. I'm going to use it for my kids. When my kids get Legos, they love to take my cookie sheets, pour all the Legos out and build their Legos on it. And then sometimes they don't finish all the way in like a week and it's still sitting there and they need my cookie trays. So I got these for them. They were like 50 cents or 90 cents. I'm not sure, less than a dollar for these little trays. So I went ahead and bought two so that um, both my kids, if they get Legos, they can go ahead and build Legos on these so that we have that. And that is my haul. I believe that's everything. So it's been a couple days since I've been to Ikea, but this is all the stuff I bought. I hope you enjoyed this um, haul. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have um, any ideas for videos you'd like to see, also let, uh, let me know about that. And please don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're very close to having 250 subscribers, so that's very exciting. Uh, my children love watching the subscriber count go, going up. Um, they get very excited about that. Um, and um, yeah, it's something fun that I've just started doing, and I really enjoy this, uh, making videos for you guys. I love hauls, so I love to watch hauls, so I thought I might as well film them. Um, but yes, uh, make sure you share with your friends, so that way we can get some more people watching. That would be great. Thank you. Have a great day.